What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about functions and expressions, and we're going to talk about the trigger bodies referencing function in the referencing section. So trigger body allows you to return details of what is in the body of the trigger itself. So you're triggering a flow, and we're going to return everything that's in the body using this function. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate. I have a CDS triggered flow, and the CDS trigger is when a record is updated. So what I am doing, or what I will demonstrate to you, is I'm going to demonstrate using this function when we have this style of trigger instead of the manual trigger that I usually use in videos. Uh, we have a referencing function here, which is just a compose action. We can click into there, and we can go to expression, and we can scroll down until we get to referencing functions and then we have this trigger body um, function here and the description for it is shorthand for trigger brackets dot output dot body so what this is doing is this is um, just a shorthand for what was previously a longer function so this is probably an updated function that they've added in over time because people were constantly typing in trigger body and then trying to find something so if i uh if i click trigger body there like that um and click ok that is all the all the details that we need right now so i can click on test and i run this from a previously successful flow um just because i don't want to physically trigger this again we're just going to run and pretend that we're triggering this again which is a really handy function in power automate so flow ram and we can see that we've got these inputs here so uh, these inputs and these outputs so we've got this we've got like address details we've got like website url with a very familiar website there um, and this is actually the details that we are returning back in the body of the outputs for this trigger so these two things match so we're getting all these address one again familiar website and this is a way to reference that information so we can um, we can use these uh, and we can even specify things so if I want the uh, website URL for instance um, and re return that specifically I can edit this and go into it so if I go back to trigger bodies and at the end of this if I put dot and then copy that in what this is going to do is this is going to um, return just that one bit in the body. So I click on test and we just run this again. We can see what this does. So run successfully and return just this input. So we can specify what it is we want. So we can either get the whole body or we can get specific pieces of data out. So Again, if you've watched some of my other videos on things like the outputs and stuff like that, this is essentially allowing me to get dynamic content out. Now, again, like those other videos, I'm not 100% sure what use case you would have for this nowadays with the dynamic content. It could be that there's a, there's a, a record or a, a parameter that you're not getting in that dynamic content and you need to get out and you know it's returned in that JSON. You can specify the name and use this function to get that out that could be one use for it um, but I'm not really too sure with you know all we've got in direct content now why you would why you would need this um, again I think this may be a, a legacy holdover from logic caps or maybe just when dynamic content doesn't return everything you need maybe there's a limit um, in the dynamic content that I'm not aware of uh, of the number of fields that you can return and return certain ones but um, as said if you have a use case, if you're using this at the moment or you know what you need to use this for in the future, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.